Hey yo, hey yo, it is your boy Bravo and today it is the Show Light TV and we have someone special, you know what I'm saying, that came to us straight from Salt Lake City. Go ahead and introduce yourself, my guy. Man, y'all don't know my artist name because I'm still coming into it, mm -hmm. but y'all know me, it's Neto Ramos. I'm thinking of going with Neto Woe because I'm from Tenfo. Man, y'all know, y'all know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so where are you from? Before we even get to that, where are you from? I'm from Salt Lake City, Utah, uh, Glendale to be exact. Yeah. Okay. Yes, okay. Bro. So I I, I know uh, kind of some some stuff happened earlier that you got. I know you want to speak oh, yeah. on. Oh yeah. So uh, damn, this is crazy because it's like less than 12 hours, like, and it's some really close homies. So something happened. Like I I'm not even gonna get close to speaking on it, but some some stuff, some like evil, some I don't know. I, me personally, my beliefs, I think it's like some demon stuff. Something happened. So if I if I got a little like if I'm not fully there, I apologize. Yeah. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. Yeah, we're gonna get through this. We're gonna get through it, man. You know what I'm saying? So how have you been though? I've been good. I've been yeah. good. I'm always pretty good. That's right, that's right, man, that's right. So let me ask you, what 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 brings you to show like TV and how did you even how did you even hear about it so you can get worried about it, man? Shit, so um I ain't gonna lie for, for a minute I've been trying to get into like past two years. At first I was thinking about music, just overall getting into the music scene just cause uh we don't really got a music scene out here, you know? It's all like, like, we got potential to blow out here for real. A lot of my people. And how coming apart uh, with Show Line, or what is Show Life, my fault, my fault, guys. Show Life, uh, kind of, I saw you guys' page doing the interviews with other rappers I know from out here, and then you guys tapped in with me, we tapped in, make connections, that's how it works. That's right, that's Get right. right. That's right, man. I appreciate you even being on the show, bro. Of course, Real thank man. you for having me. Yeah, we're trying, to, we're trying to make sure that we put Salt Lake City on, we put, put fire under these artists, you know what I'm saying, so they can really see that, you know, it's it's, it's somebody out here supporting them, you know what I'm saying? Sure, it's man. not a lot, but it's somebody out here, bro. Yeah, for sure. And off top, bro. So, um, go ahead, what, 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 give me some of your influences that, that make you who you are. Influences just that make, mm, Definitely, I'm gonna say my father. He's probably the biggest influence on me. My favorite person in the world. My father. Um, I, I definitely got some traits and a little personality from my mother too. Right. Um. I don't know. I kind of just built myself right. around what I, whatever. Right. And what? And, and, and tell me your mix. Like, like what do you mix with for some people? Oh yeah. So, so my father. He's a full Mexican. I mean, maybe he has like some. We all have a little sum in us. Come on, but. Uh, my father is full Mexican, and my mom, she's like almost full white, almost. <laughs> That's crazy. So what was it like growing up in your area, man? How was it? What was the what was the feel? Mm, I mean, bro, it was pretty cool. It was a good it was a good environment. Salt Lake City's a good place. Like we got like from everything we got nature to mountains, like dogs everywhere, everything. It's a good environment to raise a family. I'm not gonna lie, but like. Every place has like a like a deeper, darker place, right. and like kind of being from where I'm from, you know, a little bit in the poverty, growing up in there, it gets it gets messy out there. Yeah. No. Sure. No. Now let's kind of let's let's dig into that because people feel like Utah is just kind of sunshine, sunshine and, and rainbows, and, and, rainbows yeah. and mountains, and yeah. you know, uh, you know, what's the other side, the poverty side, bro? Like, Shit. Um. It, it's it's pretty bad. So like we got we got a decent amount of gangs out here. Even people are like, damn, they be gang banging in Utah. They got like, yeah, bro. They, there's gangs almost everywhere. Like we got some gangs everywhere. So it be getting it be getting messy with the gangs and criminal activity. We got I ain't go, I don't know where I read it, but I remember seeing that Ogden and Salt Lake. They have like a really high, really high like uh, I think it's meth or like some type of drug use. So like we getting bad like LA, like yeah. we getting bad with LA, like with the homeless and stuff. Yeah. Tweakers, it's getting pretty bad, but that and they, the rise, the rising population does not help. Does not help. Does either. not help, bro. So so is it like is it Bloods and Crips here? Are you seeing like you know have you ever? Mm, yeah, there's definitely uh, Bloods and Crips here, but then I feel like it's more dominated by like uh, more Mexican gangs, and then there's definitely like. Uh, there's a lot of Polynesians out here, bro. I don't know about other states and other places. Like I know California got a good amount, but bro, we got a lot of Polynesians here. Mm. So you know, we got yeah, they, they more on the crib side. I'm not too, I'm not too fond with like how deep the gangs go and like 
all that. I try yeah. to stay away from the gangs. No, I understand that. I understand that. I understand that. So like, they they're different. They're different sides. You know, it's like yeah. we're in Midville now. You know, yeah. there's Murray and then there's you know West Jordan. What's a what's a what's a what's a city that is, you know, where a lot of that's going on in? Shit. That you know of, you know. Yeah, like like where's the hood at? Yeah, where's the hood at? <laughs> Shit, bro. <laughs> Hey, I ain't gonna lie, the, the hood of Salt Lake, the hood of Utah is gonna be in Salt Lake and low-key Ogden. I mean, it, get, it gets active other places, but mainly it's gonna be in Salt Lake and Ogden. And in Salt Lake, to be exact, it's gonna be like Rose Park and Glendale area, mostly, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, hey, they be, don't get me wrong, they be getting active down in like, uh, like by Liberty Parking on the east side too. They be having some stuff going on, mm -hmm. but mainly just Glendale, Rose Park area. That's crazy. Man. Yeah. Man, shout out to everybody out there, man. Yeah, shout out to everybody. Shout out to everybody in Salt Lake. Yeah, I love man. you all. Bro. Yeah, stay dangerous out there, man. Yeah, stay dangerous to stay safe. You, yeah, you feel me? So uh, sure. let's let, let, let's get more into you, man. Um, um, were you moving around, or you just stayed in kind of one place? Mm, so I was born in Glendale, basically. So I've been there my whole life, and I've stayed in Glendale. Mm -hmm. But moving around household wise and living, I have moved from, I have like mainly like a main move only once. So most of the time I was in the same house, but just kind of be living in the struggle. You know, you'd be staying at like either the homies or like fucking my grandma's house and stuff like for weeks on end and stuff like, but mainly I, I stayed about in the same area yeah. most of the time. Yeah. yeah. No, I understand that. Now, if just just kind of keep keep going with that. What was your uh, household and your living situations like? Oh, uh, it was it was uh, it was pretty cool. I mean, I had like I have a good loving family. Uh, it was it was really good. I had family around. I ain't gonna lie, my household, my living situation, it was never the best. Like, as in like at home, like you know, just just how my parents and family were. You know, they be. We got our own little problems. We got our own things going on, but for the most part, at home it was it was pretty good. Besides, like it was pretty good up until like I was like 11. I had my siblings and other people in my house with me. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So, like, I feel like the household is what kind of uh, jails you and turns you into the person that you are. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. For sure. um, do you feel like to to this day? you know you growing up and everything like that is it, you're still holding on to things like you know what you grew up in the household yeah definitely because like you said that's what makes you mm -hmm. that's what makes you for real so uh, i definitely grew up around things and then just just like based on the way my living situation and the way we handle some things you know i'm gonna handle it the same way later on just because that's how i had it as a kid growing up so it, it becomes so so usual so regular yeah some people they don't live like that at all. They like they'll be like, Oh, you do it this way or you do it this way. Yeah. Or you're living like this, you know, all types of things. Yeah. Now I, I know, you know, this might be a little something that uh is uh kinda of deep to you, but I just wanna ask, you know. Mm -hmm. Uh how did the passing of your mother at a young age affect you? Okay, so um see me I I let, let me say uh because it was like around when I was ten, so I was pretty young, uh nine, ten. It hit, it was out of nowhere for real, like crazy. I was like, what the hell? That's kind of like, but being how I am, like I've always been in the moment, like always living, in, I've always been a happy kid. Like I never really, and I still, like, I don't want to say it too much because you know, people, they all have their own problems. They have their own things, but I never really believed in like, or like got symptoms of like depression, anxiety, or I've always been pretty good mentally. So when it affected me, it more affected me like, it affected my life like just because the loss of her she was a big part of my life she would she really handled a lot and like a lot of people in Salt Lake City still know her like she was really doing stuff out there yeah but yeah do you feel like you got to say everything that you wanted to say to her oh hell no definitely not bro I was so young I was I was still growing up right I'm sorry no no you're good bro um I was like um like fourth grade fit like summer right before fifth grade so definitely not. Uh, there's definitely more things I wish I could say and learn. Mo mostly learn from her, cause yeah. she 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 had a brain for sure. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying. Are you good? Thank you. Oh, of course, man. Of course. So, um, 
What are the top things that you love in life that, that give you that gas that get, get, get you going every day? Oh, bro. Number one, food, bro. For me, it's the food, bro. Like, okay. you, can, you can get me with some food. Like, give me some food, I'll be in the best mood, for real. Um, but food, uh, just time with some loved ones. Definitely COD, Call of Duty. I be going crazy on Call of Duty. I love Call of Duty. Mm -hmm. I really be shooting shit. <laughs> um, but again, definitely dogs. Dogs are really, they like better humans. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's about it? That's about it? Za, Za, yeah, that's about it. I was waiting on it. I was waiting on it. Okay, okay. So you have a you have a, a, a big following here in Salt Lake City, bro. You know, what yeah. I'm saying? you have an influence, bro. Yeah, thank how, you. Uh, you know, how did that start? You know, like where did that start at? So um, let's see. So I had I've always had cousins and sisters. So like when I was, they're like about five to seven years above me. My cousins and sisters, like in age. So the middle school that I went to and they went to is called Glendale Middle School and it's right next door to an elementary school. So I would be going there and you know, and actually way even before that, my mom, she would work at Riley. It's another elementary school and she would have me there and I was low key like a little celebrity at the school like, cause I was a little baby, you know, everyone's like, oh, look at the baby. Like, come on, yeah. Mm -hmm. But once I started getting older, you know, I started kind of doing my own name, being cool with people with chill. And then, you know, people fucking with me and when it hit middle school, I started really getting my name a little more higher because, you know, I was I was always cool with everybody. I didn't really have problems like that, but they knew I, I could squabble because I would bring my glove. I would bring boxing gloves. We would run boxing all the time. Right. So, you know, they give me some respect for that. And just being a cool person, just cool with everyone, showing love. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Hey. So, what got you into music? Okay, for sure. Uh, I mean, I've always fucked with music like most people and most like beings for real, like animals and shit. Everyone fuck with music. So I was fucking with music, not too heavy. I would like be bumping some old school shit in middle school, like with the homies. We'd be like definitely on some old school shit. Uh, once we like got into high school, my freshman year, I would be listening to like getting to like, like my own style of music, my own art, picking out like artists I liked. And then it got me into making music. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, it was like halfway through high school. I ain't never try it until out of high school or like the end of high school. But what got me into it was like, I realized it was kind of like I get influenced. Like the main, main influence was like when King Von blew up off of Crazy Story Part 3. And I'm all like, damn. Mm. I'm like, damn, you listen to the title, it's Crazy Story. Like he just one. telling a story. And I already liked writing stuff in school, like just summarizing. So I'm like, hey, I could try and do that. It's literally just painting a picture, mm. put whatever I want. That's actually dope, bro. Yeah, That's man. actually dope. Um, so, who would be your targeted audience once you get everything going in the works and stuff? Oh, well, first of all, everybody, mm -hmm. the whole world. But mainly once I get started, definitely it's gonna be uh, the people that know me, you know, Salt Lake, mostly Utah, Salt Lake, West Valley, a little bit of Ogden. I know I, know I got family out in Ogden on here. Mainly it's gonna be like, you know, Utah area, trying to help the Utah community out. But from there, it's only up. That's right, that's right, bro. I want so, to see. That's right, so, this is a question because I know <clears throat> everything's not good that you get. Everything's not positive. So, yeah. how do you handle the negative feedback and the negative remarks? Oh, yeah, for sure. Mm. I mean, we're all gonna take like, it, it really depends how deep the negative comment is or negative like if it's really online it's just like someone some random mm -hmm. obviously it's gonna be less if it's a person i care about it's gonna be deep it's gonna of be course. deep but but hey it's nothing like you know sticks and stones may break my bones but words ain't gonna hurt me That's i don't true. really care like it's at the end of the day it's feedback it's, some, it's something to look back like something to give me like uh oh this is what they think about it or oh this is what they think about me yeah but like for the most part, that is, I just take it just to just think about it. Like you know how the homies be. That's it. That's you know how the homies be just bullshit. That's true. That's true. Sometimes you gotta have a strong chin, and especially yeah, nowadays. you gotta take that. You got to, especially in in the in the you know the job that we have. You know. Um, okay, so usually I always ask this question to artists. You know what I'm saying? We just just to get a feel of things. 
uh, the Salt Lake City look, you know, the music here. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about it, man? I, I, as in, as in, the music coming from Salt Lake artists. The music coming from Salt Lake artists, okay. man. Because um, I've been getting a lot of backlash from it, but I feel like I've been telling the truth. Um, bro, um, bro, like I said, we got freaking potential out here. That's why I'm really stepping my foot in, like trying to, like trying to help a lot of artists out. We we got some potential. We got some good artists. We got some. It's pretty good. We we just need we just need to do it correctly. You know, just get that that shine correctly, and we got it. Now. Do you think this is going to come from one artist, or you think it's going to be a collective few to really get Salt Lake going? I mean, it really depends, like, based on, like, all on timing and just how it plays out. Like, we can't really tell, but I think, and hopefully, you know, if one of us blow, we all blow. Hopefully. But I don't think it's going to be like that. Um, I don't know. I really don't know how, how it's going to look, because it, it's the... The playing field is pretty even right now out here. Everyone's is. pretty pretty even out here. It is. I really feel like just me being in this stuff right now, um, I feel like everybody's at the, the the starting line. You know, everybody's moving at the same yeah, pace. Yeah, yeah. And it just takes that one that one jump for an artist to get there because it's there, bro. It's there. Um so but let's go ahead and get back into you, man. Um where do you where 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 do you see yourself in ten years? Um, hey, if everything moves smoothly and in my favor and like kind of how everything's planned out and like along with manifesting, I'm not really too deep in that, but like, you know, shout out to people, shout out Melody Kim, shout out all of them who really be on that manifesting stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess it, it, I believe, I believe into it in a sort, but I think, I think I see like me really helping my community on an extra level because like you know I help my people, but I'm trying to help them like on an extra level. Mm -hmm. So like, hey, if if this if I go crazy on this, then hey, maybe I could like we could really make something crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Nine fifty. Uh, what's your experiences with drugs, bro? Alright, bro, um, uh, so I grew up, like, there was definitely drugs around my, just my environment and kind of like my family, so, you know, my family definitely has, like, some drug problems. I wouldn't say too bad, like, not as bad as some people I've seen. Yeah. But, so, like, it's always been around, and I've, I've experienced quite a few, did a, a good amount, but to be honest, I don't really like too many drugs, except for, like, a couple little ones, mostly just weed. I don't right. even really drink alcohol no more. I don't really like it that much. Right. Just a weed guy now. Right. So, it's usually, usually you, you because you see people around you, and you kind of like, nah, I'm not fucking with yeah, 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 definitely. It's like, damn, like, just seeing how, how it could destroy a life, how it could change a life, how it could... All types of things. It's evil. That's true. That's true. If you wanted to tell, 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 you know, the audience something about yourself that no one knows, or you feel that you need to express, what would that be? Man, I'm like the realest motherfucker out here. I be showing so much love to y'all, so much. Like, just show a little bit back. Just say you care. Hit me up here and there. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes that's all we really need. Exactly. You know, you know, we we, we we doing this stuff right now. Just share it, post it, hit me up. Let yeah, me know yeah. you know, it's just a double tap, like my stuff. Come on, yeah, just something. Mm. Not so, even, not even that. Just you privately message me something. Right, just let you know. So, yeah. so just kind of like piggyback off of that. How do you feel about trust and loyalty? Trust and loyalty. Trust and loyalty. How do you feel about that? How does that impact your life? <sighs> Bro, that that impacts everyone's life deeply. That's like a deep thing for everybody. Yeah. Trust. That's a that's a hard one to get into because like I trust like a lot of things before I trust people because you know people I don't know it, it, I trust people to a certain extent and it just goes off their loyalty how loyal they've been how like how far me and that person's relationship came you know yeah. 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 but it's a big part of my life trust and loyalty is really deep it's a big part I understand that I respect that so who 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 do you look up to that that kind of like you know, helps you during the hard times. You know what I'm saying? Like, who's your support system? Mm, number one, God. Definitely my God. You know, we all have our different gods, or maybe one, two, but, but definitely I'm going to say my God. And 
then I bounce back to second. It's gonna be my own state of mind. You know, I'll question myself inside. And then after that, it's gonna have to be my fam my close family, like the close family. So my father, my sisters, my little my little nephews and nieces. Yeah. yeah. So let's <clears throat> let's get to you for a minute. Yeah, go ahead. If you could speak to every Salt Lake City artist, promoter, radio host, whatever out here. What would you say to them? You just get them all in one room. What would you tell them? Mm, that's funny because that's why you say that because mm, like way before I started noticing more artists, like like more before like maybe a year or two, mm -hmm. I was talking to this homie who wanted to get into the music I didn't. I was like, bro, we should get a bunch of artists all in a room from Salt Lake to you know talk about some like because like we can all work together. But obviously, you know, it's kind of hard doing that. People don't want to do that, but they want to be independent and all that. But if I could get every artist from out here in a room, I would definitely say like, like damn, it's, it's way different out here from like a lot of places, like way different from California, way different from the East Coast, way different from Chicago, all types of stuff. So like, we really different over here. We could, I don't know, I don't know, that's a hard one. I don't know what I would say to them. I'm, I would just tell them how like, how different, how, how much of a potential we got. Let's like get like, Work together. Let's work together and just stay. Yeah. Just kind of get get it going. Yeah, we yeah. We, we don't got to publicly work together, but you know, work yeah. together behind the scenes. Yeah, show. Sure. Because I think Salt Salt Lake can really be on the map, bro. Yeah, it's for sure, bro. It's gonna go crazy. Yeah. So, um, is there any artist that you feel like is coming that you are are seeing out of here? Out of here, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. So I ain't gonna lie, the best artists out of here really making motion, really doing stuff. Just passed away not too long ago. Rest in peace, Smash Honey. You was doing it. You was doing it, boy. You was going crazy for everyone. For every team, bro. That shit, that shit hurt, hurt like a lot of people. And bro, if y'all saw him, he was going crazy. He was really doing it. Um, but besides that, uh, people that are really going crazy right now. Um, um, my boy T Slow, he got potential. He got to really uh, lock in and do some shit. Uh, both the homies, Benzo and Danny, they going crazy. They need to get out there more. And then definitely KSP Dino, he he hard. He, KSP. He some hard, yeah, he got some hard lyrics, hard bars. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, all right, all right, all right, man, for sure, for sure. Um, so one, you know, we're gonna go ahead and, and, and finish it off and wrap up. If we wanted to get in contact with you, how would we be able to get in contact with you? You know what I'm saying? Like your links or anything like that. Bet that, yeah. Uh, on Instagram, it's netto.104. That's N E T O.104. Mm -hmm. And then YouTube, I'm going to show, come out with some YouTube uh, YouTube videos and stuff. It's just at tenfo. It's T E N F zero instead of a O. T E N F zero. Besides that, just hit me up on Instagram. Say what's up. For sure, for sure. And you know what we usually do is have the artists come and do story time. But we're gonna get you to do story time today, my guy. Oh, we're we're gonna oh, sit word. with you outside. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And oh, yeah. you gonna you gonna tell us a story, man. You know what I'm saying? We gonna I bet. This yeah, right on the shorts. Let's do that, man. I'm All right. Well, thank you so much for being on the show, like TV. This is what we do. We don't do nothing but yeah, bring bangers yeah, in this bitch, on. and we about <laughs> it here, man. Peace. Hey.